Yo, yes, my Gs, you're probably thinking, where's Petey Scrans at here? This looks a bit bougie for him. It's not your typical kebab shop or anything. Well, I'm telling you what, mate, man went getting a facial baby. Rejuvenate skin, Manchester. Made me feel like a new man and that. Give him a follow on Instagram, mate. Absolutely class. When people say, how oh, you're not a big fat knacker eating all these takeaways every day. This is why, baby, getting this done. It's the future. Facials are for men, not just women. Anyway, now after feeling like a 10 out of 10, I've got to leave some birds for some other people, you know what I'm saying? So I cheated myself to a fat Chinese, baby. Kwong Hing were just next door. Everybody's recommended this for ages, said it's the best Chinese in Tainside, the best Chinese in Staley Bridge, the best Chinese in Ridge Hill. Everything, it gets bigged up to max. So we've got a bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? We could not wait for this. This is actually the first Chinese review video I've ever done. It's mad, that, isn't it? Because I've done about 150 TikTok videos. So this is for the ones who kept recommending, you know, you need to do a Chinese, you need to do a Chinese. You know what I mean? If it's crap, it's your fault. Because I could have been having a smashed burger or a kebab or something like usual, you know what I'm saying? It's looking pretty tasty though, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Got some sweet and sour chicken, some sweet and sour fish, some all the sides, all of that, you know, all the good stuff. Now let's see if it tasted as good as it looked. Right, people have been asking me to review a Chinese for ages, so here we are. Kwong King, baby, I've got a bit of mixture of everything, so start off with a veggie spring rolls because it's just basic, aren't it? It's a little bit of Wow. They're nice, they're basic, but they're nice. Bit of sweet and sour dip there as well. Bang on. So I looked at the reviews. A lot of people kept going on about these curry samosas. So see what these are saying. Oh. I don't even know what they've got in it. Is it in it there? Just tastes like a curry sauce and a samosa, but it's obviously got something else in there. Never. Let's the chips. Oh. Salt and pepper chips, obviously, who even gets plain chips from the Chinese? Oh, they're banging, what do you think? It's really nice, have you tried this? What's that, salt and pepper fish? No, um, sweet and sour sweet fish. Sweet and sour fish. Mmm. That melts in the mouth, that. I can tell it's called or something as well, not an old cheap fat. Noodles. Oh, the flavours on them, mate. I like the thin ones the as well. Salt and pepper chips are really good taste. The salt, everything's banged on it. Eh? Salt and pepper chicken. Not salt and pepper, like I've got salt and pepper. Sweet and sour chicken. Oh. See, we've got some curry sauce here as well. Boom. <laughs> more sweet and sour. Boom. I weren't even meant to tip it on, I was just showing you, but anyway, more on there. Um, what else have we got? That's pretty much. Everything, the rice, I've not shown you that but yeah, everything's banging mate. I'm not a massive Chinese fan but everyone kept telling me about Kwon King saying you've got to go here, you've got to go here, so I'm here. You've got to finish off with a little cup of happiness. Some sweet and sour chicken in there. Get some salt and pepper chips in there. Get some rice in there. Get some noodles in there. Baby, so I'm not a Chinese fan, but I'm loving this. Look at that cup of happiness. And I'm gonna put a bit of curry sauce extra on top like that, because I can. The style of Chinese is called No complaints from me, you eat Chinese more, what are you saying? Rating wise, mm, strong eight out of ten. Hey, yeah, but hey, do you mean that? That's good. I would have given it a ten, but I just love that. Speaking of, I've got this. Oh, yeah, banging Kwan King, um, Staley Bridge, um, just near a jail. <laughs> you can't get it delivered, you've got to pick it up. <laughs> £32.50 for all this, but I had to go to the shop, down the road because it's cash only. 
and it's charged me 199 surcharge so it cost me like 42 quid to draw it out so now i've got a tenner in my wallet what i'm gonna have to spend because it's just dead money in it cash but yeah big up i'm saying 10 out of 10 you're saying 8 out of 10 highly recommend guys they forgot something they also sell big up the rubicon mango every time 11 out of 10 now <laughs>